We are walking. Aha! Ooh. We are wobbling. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We are tiptoeing. And we are exploring. Oh, wow! Oh! Ooh, STEM is everywhere! Everywhere we go, there's a little bit of science, technology, engineering, Whoa. and math hiding around us. Huh, can you guess what we'll find today? So grab your shoes, grab your binoculars. It's time for our <laughs> STEM adventures to... Air Force Day at the Air Force Museum. <laughs> Hello, friends. Today, join us as we find out how machines and humans work together to fly high. We are looking for STEM. That's right. STEM is everywhere around us. And friends, today we are going on a special mission to the Singapore Air Force Museum to celebrate Air Force Day. So much fun! There are airplanes! This will be an amazing adventure filled with activities that are both fun and educational for the whole family to enjoy. So come on friends, let's go see what we can find. Whoa! You can visit this museum for free! <laughs> it is open from Tuesdays to Saturdays from 9am to 4pm. In this outdoor gallery of the museum, we can get up close and personal with real retired RSAF aircrafts. How cool! Wow! Awesome! Okay, now here's the big question. How does a big, heavy plane fly? Hmm. It's all about a force. The plane is pushed forward by its super-powered engines. <laughs> the engine takes in air and pushes it out really, really fast, creating a fast force called thrust. Now, thrust is what makes the plane zoom forward. It's just like how a balloon flies when you let the air out. Wow, that's incredible! Like a fiery jet! Did you know that when planes were first invented, they didn't have special plane engines? So they used simple piston engines, just like the one in cars, to spin a giant wooden fan that's called a propeller. Look at this giant engine! This is where all the magic happens! This engine is a powerful system that sucks in air with a giant fan and then pushes it out with a huge force. It's what gives a plane its power to fly. Roar! 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 <laughs> roar! 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 <laughs> And this powerful engine can even carry things like missiles, which is another amazing example of technology and engineering. Oh my goodness! There are bombs! Wow! It's a bit scary. 
scary. But missiles are actually brilliant examples of technology. Look at this missile that's been cut open. It's a system with different parts, just like a robot. It has a guidance section, that's the missile's brain, and a rocket motor section that gives it a super-powered push. Whoa! A missile with brains! Oh, and look at this! If we look underneath the plane, we can see all the wires, tubes, and machines inside. It's like the plane's secret super highway. Every single one of these parts is a little system that works together with the big systems like the engine and the cockpit where the pilot is sitting. Wires. Friends, it all goes to show that a plane isn't just one big machine. It's a whole lot of small, amazing systems working together to create one giant flying machine. Oh, hey, Mimi, look! There's a big dish. This is a huge antenna. It's used to communicate, send and receive signals from the ground. It's technology that helps us make sure that the planes know where they are going. Whoa. And these aren't models. They are actual planes that once defended Singapore's skies. Thank you, planes! Wow! Wow! I can't believe we get to be so up close and personal with these planes, Mimi! Yes! It's so exciting, Cock Fifi! I feel like spreading my wings and fly! But wait! Before a pilot can even touch the controls of a plane like this, they need to get suited up in their special uniform. Wow, look at this flight suit! Mimi and friends, every single piece of this uniform is designed for a very important reason. From the top of their head to the tippy tips of their toes. So high tech. Eh, uh, why are their helmets so Ooh, big? Ooh, that's a fantastic question. This helmet is made of a very, very, very hard and strong material. It's like the pilot's armor, designed to protect their head. And this special mask is super important because when a pilot flies way, way, way up high, the air gets very thin. This mask is a special life support system that gives them clean air to breathe. Cool. Look at all these special tubes and buckles on the suit. These buckles are like super strong belts to keep the pilot safe in their seat. And see this tube? It's a breathing tube, sending air to the pilot's mask. All these different parts are engineered to work together as a complete system 
to keep the pilots safe and sound on their mission. Oh, look at their gloves! Oh yes, they are gloves. These gloves are made of a special material so they can have a super good grip on the plane's controls. It's an amazing piece of engineering and design. Look, the Singapore flag. The flag on the pilot's suit shows which country they come from. It's like an identification mark, so everyone knows they are representing Singapore when they fly and serve. Oh yes, yes, yes! This whole suit is a perfect example of STEM in action. It's a complete system where all the different parts and materials work together to keep the pilot safe and always ready for any mission. Ahem! Now that we are all suited up, let's go explore the plane's brain, also known as the cockpit. Fun fact, the pilot's area is called the cockpit because the name comes from an old word for a tiny crowded area where roosters used to fight. So many buttons. Hmm, what are all these for? Whoa, look at all these buttons, levers and screens. It feels like a super secret spy control panel. <laughs> a pilot needs to know what every single one does in order to fly the plane safely. That's a lot, right Mimi? Oh, look at all these dials and screens. This is where the pilot gets all their important information at the same time. This one tells you what direction you're flying, like north, south, east or west. And this one tells you how fast you're going. Imagine having to keep track of all these numbers and buttons at the same time. It's like playing a video game, but for real. Wow, Mimi, that's awesome. This is what we call a system. The pilot and the cockpit work together as a team. The pilot gives the commands and instructions with their hands on this joystick. They also give commands and instructions through their feet and the plane listens and follows the instructions. This is a perfect example of how technology and humans interact with one another to create something incredible. In this case, it is to allow the plane to fly. What's that, Cock Fifi? That is a flight simulator, Mimi. It's not a real plane, but it's a model that helps pilots learn how to fly safely before they get into a real aeroplane. It's a fun and super important way for pilots to practice how to fly planes. Thank you. 
Hmm, speaking of flight simulators, for the grand finale of our STEM adventure, we are going to check out this awesome flight simulator. This is where you can experience what it's like to be a pilot using awesome technology. So much fun! I want to try! Look at this amazing machine! It has a special seat, a joystick for our hands, and even pedals for our feet! Flying a plane is a full-body job, not just a game! We have to use our hands to steer and our feet to control the plane's movements! Wow! Even our feet have to work! And all our actions, every little push and pull on the joystick and every press on the pedals are all sent to the computer which shows us what's happening on the big screen. This simulator is a powerful piece of technology. It gives us the real experience of flying a plane without ever leaving the ground. It's truly amazing how engineers can use science to create something that is so real, so fun, and also so important. How great! Here, our friend Kiki is practicing how to land his plane. Yes, this is a perfect example of a system. Our actions are the input, the computer is the process, and the movement that we see on the screen is the output. It's all about how different parts of a system work together. What an amazing adventure! We saw how the pilot's suit, the plane's powerful engines, and the high-tech cockpit all use STEM to work together as one big team. It's a perfect example of how men, machines, and methods all work together to make flying possible. That's right! Science is everywhere! From the pilot suit to the giant engine! And now for our final STEM mission! Friends, look at the aeroplane in this picture. It was one of the first aeroplanes ever invented by the Wright brothers. Hmm, what are some unique features that you can see that helped it fly? Tell us your answer in the comments below! Wow! <laughs> We hope you enjoyed our STEM adventure to the Singapore Air Force Museum. It just goes to show that learning can also be an awesome adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more science adventures with us. Bye bye! Bye! bye. Jumpa, Jumpa lagi! lagi.